My dear friends, welcome to Raj Shekhar classes on Applied Data Science with Python. This is lecture number 596. In this lecture, we will try to understand TensorFlow online documentation. So, TensorFlow is a fairly large library of functions and APIs. Just see here in TensorFlow, there is an option here what it says learn in learn what you have you have you can have in this particular learn tab just you can see introduction you have introduction to tensorflow oh, just see uh, new to tensorflow tensorflow the core open source machine learning library for javascript tensorflow for java javascript uh, for mobile and edge for production isn't it you have uh, there is another option api in api what you have uh, versions you have tensorflow.js you have tensorflow lite you have tfx you have you have several uh, libraries and api so in this chapter uh, in this chapter of tensorflow that we will deal with we will show we will show you most important ones we will show you lot of examples but almost but almost impossible for us to cover everything in tensorflow it's something that you will learn slowly you will learn complex concepts slowly that's important so if you want to learn tensorflow tensorflow in addition to what we teach you the best source is what is that site www.tensorflow.org this is the best site isn't it in this you uh, you lots of very nice you have lots of tutorials you have uh, lots of nice tutorials just see you have introduction to tensorflow very nice um, you just just here you have get started with tensorflow explore tutorials isn't it you have very nice tutorials how to do just see this one in uh, for beginners you have nice nice tutorials for experts you have nice tutorials isn't it just see video tutorials you have video tutorials for tensorflow machine learning zero to hero basic computer vision with machine learning is isn't it what are the libraries and extensions you have tensor board tensorflow hub model optimization tfx data sets it's a probability isn't it yes how to build how how to how to do this in javascript that is also important you see tensorflow.js is a library for machine learning in javascript that's what it says just see this one what is this tensorflow dot what it says just let me highlight this tensorflow.js is a library for machine learning in javascript isn't it how to build how to how to build your uh, uh, mobile how to build your mobile applications using tensorflow what it says deploying machine learning models on mobile and edge devices isn't it how to build your mobile applications using tensorflow tensorflow is fairly large library tensorflow.org is a very good resource if you want to find documentation or help uh, this is one of the best uh, best uh, resource sources i i recommend we, I, I recommend you this particular uh, particular website we will certainly teach you what you know, tensorflow the basics of tensorflow and how to build lots of models with uh, how to build lots of models with the tensorflow but beyond that beyond the point we will not going to going into too much low level details that is important here we may not able to teach you too much low level details if you learn basics it's very easy to follow uh, through the documentation on the tensorflow.org and it's almost impossible for uh, for any i mean uh, just teaching tensorflow itself line by line all of the with all of the details could be another course itself but once if you get the basics you can always develop several applications using tensorflow in addition to tensorflow.org just see these are the uh, there is one this is a, the, there is one particular um, the website what it says this is a this is google cloud uh, I, I provide you this reference link in description section of this video this is a very nice article which says learn tensorflow and deep learning without phd this, this is a very nice article actually i request all of you to go through this one what is this learn tensorflow and deep learning without a phd this is a series of very nice videos and code just see 
this is uh, just dive into the presentation what it says just see here what it says chapter 1 introduction to handwritten digit recognition the simplest neural network you have video as well as slide just see you have video link as well as see if you click here if you click here you will get videos and you have slides slides option also videos and code uh, code example by in, by engineers engineers from top notch companies like google where they discuss lot of things for example this is chapter 1 which says handwritten digits recognition there are videos and slides just check here you have videos as well as slides i request all of you to go through this particular website um, so just download just, just watch these videos and slides similarly uh, what is this uh, what is this chapter 2 ingredients for uh, uh, a tasty neural network just see what is what is this just this one is ingredients for tasty neural network tensor flow basics basics again you have videos and uh, uh, videos and slides that is chapter 2 what is my chapter 3 what it says uh, uh, more cooking tools multiple layers reuse dropout uh, isn't it similarly ingredients of neural network tensor flow basics there is a video for it for that is chapter 2 if you go and click for this video um, for example if you go and click for this video you will get a, a, a youtube video which says one hour long video you just 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 go and click uh, corresponding videos this is um, for example in the case of ingredients for taste in neural networks this is one hour video explaining some of the basics of tensorflow so there are lots of these links that are available here similarly how how to have multiple layers just see how, how to have here what is chapter 3 says your chapter 3 says how to have what is this how to have multiple layers isn't it how to have multiple layers and uh, relus and drop out isn't it learning rate decay learning rate decay cnn is, isn't it that is chapter 3 e even you have what you have here you have videos as well as slides just see here here you have videos and slides isn't it just 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 click those on these videos and slides you will get it what about this one something uh, your chapter say four says convolution neural network networks just see this is convolution neural networks and you can find videos and uh, videos videos and slides and what is this uh, chapter five this is batch normalization where you can find uh, again uh, videos and slides for that particular concept isn't, isn't it the, the what is this chapter six the high level api for tensorflow isn't it what is this this is high level api for tensorflow again you can find videos and slide uh, slides uh, what is chapter 7 recurrent neural networks is it recurrent neural networks we will discuss some of these uh, this this is nice source to learn one of the good thing with deep learning right now very 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 good things with the deep learning is there are lots of resources on internet all sorts of things both for theory and for code there are hundreds and thousands of resources for example type how how to do tensorflow dropout let me just say this is chapter 8 google cloud machine learning platform just if i want to see how to how to do tensorflow dropout if i would like to find this one there is a documentation from tensorflow here just see there are different documentation if you, if you go through it there are documentation just you, you will get so many articles just see you have you will get so many articles from different blogs isn't it there is something like tensorflow forum there is something like com ml uh, what is this comet ml isn't it you know, how to do for example type how to do tensorflow dropout there are there is a documentation tensorflow tensorflow here you have documents from Co um, uh, comet ml and tensorflow forum there are lots of blogs here so you get lots of nice resources in online today that's important online today especially for deep learning there is tons of resources you will get brilliant theoretical help and code snippets making making learning deep learning extremely uh, extremely fun and easy so you don't have to depend only on my videos just browse all those things just let me go to this just let me let me show you that particular um, particular website just see this is my what is this this is uh, this is tensorflow and deep learning without phd isn't it in which what do you have here just see he is uh, he, he, who is he? he is google cloud developer advocate 
martin ro just 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 go through this what it says dive into uh, the presentation so what is my first presentation this is my chapter 1 introduction handwritten digits recognition the simple neural network yes if you want to see you can see the video just you will get video just uh, uh, just see it, it's opening youtube video isn't it uh, um, actually just see what it says just see here a nice explanation you can find a nice explanation what is what is he saying is explaining uh, tensorflow and deep learning without phd by martin uh, so each neuron Jesse. takes the exponential of I'm sure most of you wonder what a data engineering role looks uh, like yes, actually, while a data uh, scientist organizes yes, sat me skip this ever right what is say let let me show for few seconds this one yes Hello everyone. Uh, so thank you for coming for uh, this university session on uh, TensorFlow and, and deep learning. You're brave to come and spend uh, three hours here with me, um, talking about neural networks, TensorFlow, how much and, time and all the nice things we can do with them. Just the weights, seven eighty four by ten. That's beautiful explanation with the code snippets and the um, and uh, now this, what this do they explain? There are still these reasons, isn't it? Total stupidity with it. Around zero, uh, and two additional degrees of freedom per neuron, yes. just two per neuron, called alpha and beta, a scalar and an offset factor, and yes, your uh, batch. Let me stop this video and. Uh, just go to the next concept what is this next concept ingredients for any tasty neural network again there is a video just i am clicking on this video again a video will get displayed just see so let's go what is the simplest possible model we can imagine just 10 neurons so we have our images 28 by 28 pixel images uh, we first we take those pixels and and all of those pixels we just flatten yes. them as Beautiful explanation, beautiful explanation, Jesse. I request all of you just to go through this, uh, all these chapters. There are different chapters. What is chapter 8? Uh, Google Cloud Machine Learning Platforms. Anyway, let me click video for, for this particular concept. Yes, you will get a beautiful video again. Um, we built this service called CloudML, which is a hosted service where you can throw your TensorFlow and build it on a distributed infrastructure uh, in the cloud. So how does it work? Let me show you. Um, first of all, what is the algorithm? For training in yes, I, I request all of you. I request all of you to go through this these these lectures so that you will get an idea. Uh, thank you very much.